a lot of people that have been, you know, maybe mistreated by him are scared to speak up on what he did. Facts. I'm just not. So if I hit a nigga with a pack, I hit him with some work, and he runs off on me, <laughs> until I get my money back, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't care if it's 20 years. Lucas Media, which you just heard as a quick clip. Uh, shout out to Ugly TV for the interview. Dame Dash basically explaining his issues with Jay-Z. Now, for those who have been around, y'all know that Jay-Z and Dame Dash, they haven't really been seeing eye to eye. I'm going to say for at least 2001, 2002-ish. And Dame, earlier in, in the clip, Dame, they asked, did they, does he ever get tired of talking about Jay-Z? And he says, well, nobody ever asked Jay-Z these, any of these questions. Now, honestly, Dame knows Jay better than, than most people. I mean, we know Jay is his billionaire mogul, but Dame started out with him when they didn't. he didn't have anything. Him, Dame, I mean, him, Jay, and Biggs. So I could understand how he feels. I just wish that these brothers would be able to sit down and talk things through and try to move on. I mean, it's it's hard to see empires fall. And when Rockefeller was together, the original Rock, I ain't talking about Rock Nation. When the original Rock was together, you seen Day, Dame, you seen Jay, you seen Kanye, Memphis Bleak, Young Guns, you name him, Cameron at one point when he was with, and remember, y'all remember when Jewels was like, signed the rockefeller kind of it was it was rockefeller dipset and all of the number when they dipset had that had them uh diplomatic immunities so you seen you you thought that if you was on the outside looking in you thought it was just brothers for life but really it was still business at the end of the day unfortunately they ended up selling a the company then jay ended up somehow still being over rockefeller and dame went off to do uh rachel roy but if i was dame i would personally get tired of people asking questions as well like Man, that was 20-something years ago. Stop asking me about this man, you know? Like, what what else you want to know? I didn't told you in a thousand stories. But also, you know, at the same time, that was a part of history. And people can't talk to Jay. And let's make this clear. I personally always rather wanted to be Dame growing up. You know, I couldn't rap. I didn't know how to write any lyrics. But from a business aspect, I wanted to be like Dame and Dash. And when you talk to all the artists, they all say that Dame was helping him and even... Um, was it noriega he said that dame went in the room with him and got him a better deal Memphis bleak said dame helped him out so dame has always been the one to really be with the artist jay was his own artist so he was doing his own thing his own shows dame had to promote the young guns and memphis and beanie siegel i forgot to mention him too beanie siegel and he helped come up with rock aware and uh was it rock films and the state properties that paid in fools you know he he the one who put cameron as um Alpo, which is a certified classic, and even with Paper Soldiers with Kevin Hart. So I get it. I see where Dame is going is coming from. But at the same time, you know, him and, and Jay and Biggs really gotta understand there are millions and millions of people that just want to know what happened because rock was everything. I'm sorry. There wasn't no label out there better than the rock in the 2000s You even had basketball players do a slam dunk and run down. The core throwing up the diamond. But I just want to get my quick thoughts about it. And tell me what y'all think.